ICE WAS THINKING ABOUT SENDING MIGRANTS ON BUSES TO THE MID-STATE. BUT NOW REPUBLICAN STATE LEADERS ARE SAYING NOT SO FAST. NEWS CHANNEL 5'S ALEXANDRA COHEN TALKED TO PEOPLE ON BOTH SIDES OF THIS CONTROVERSY. ICE HAS A PROGRAM TO RELEASE SOME MIGRANTS FROM DETAINMENT BEFORE THEIR COURT DATES IF THEY GO STAY WITH A FAMILY MEMBER OR SPONSOR. THESE ARE FOLKS WHO ARE COMING HERE TO SEEK SAFETY, um, SEEK ASYLUM, they have gone through the process, been cleared to be released out of detention. At Tennessee Immigrant and Refugee Rights Coalition, Judith Claire June says they'd been speaking with ICE on migrants coming to the mid-state, so they've been working to coordinate shelter, food, and transportation. Regardless of someone's immigration status, um, regardless of where they are coming from, um, we should be treating folks with compassion and dignity. Republican leaders found out and pushed back on the plan. What we have learned is that the New Orleans Immigration Office is going to send about 50 illegal immigrants who are adults, single adults, to Tennessee uh, on a daily basis or a weekly basis. Senator Marsha Blackburn wants to know more about the migrants' background. Have they vetted these individuals? Do they have notices to appear for asylum hearings? Are any of them convicted criminals? Are any of them appearing on the terrorist watch list? And Governor Bill Lee said in a tweet that the state should not bear the brunt of the federal government's failures. And he also mentioned securing the border. Unfortunately, we saw the governor's office and other elected officials again using this moment to you know, further their own political profiles. On Wednesday, ICE confirmed no migrants had been sent to Tennessee. It's unclear what will happen next. Reporting in Nashville, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. Attorney General Jonathan Scrimetti said he is investigating whether sending migrants here is legal. Advocates called his position fear-mongering.